such a busy morning trying to set a new world record. I've been trying to see how long I can juggle with three objects whilst blindfolded and it is very difficult. The record for doing this is 22 minutes and 7 seconds and let's just say I am a very long way off that. But to help me perfect my technique, I've asked some of our church family to teach me how to juggle. So let's see how they got on. Oh wow, who knew we had such a talented bunch in our church family? Well, before I attempt this world record again, I want to share with you another story from the Bible. So today we're going to be looking at another miracle that Jesus performed. And I wonder if you can guess from our world record what that might be. And no, it's not about juggling, but it is about being blind and not being able to see. So in our story today, Jesus does something good for a man who is blind. He heals him. But some people are not happy about this. So why don't you grab yourselves a Bible and let's read this story together. So we're reading John chapter 9 verses 1 to 12. As Jesus went along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Neither this man nor his parents sinned, Jesus said, but this happened so that the works of God might be displayed in him. As long as it is day, we must do the works of him who sent me. Night is coming when no one can work. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. After saying this, he spit on the ground, made some mud with the saliva and put it on the man's eyes. Go, he told him, wash in the pool of Siloam. So the man went and washed and came home seeing. His neighbours and those who had formerly seen him begging asked, Isn't this the man who used to sit and beg? Some claimed he was, but others said no, he only looks like him. But the man himself insisted, I am the man. How then were your eyes opened, they asked. He replied, the man they call Jesus made some mud and put it on my eyes. He told me to go to Siloam and wash. So I went and washed and then I could see. Where is this man, they asked him. I don't know, he said. And later on in the same chapter, we read that these people brought the boy to the Pharisees and the Pharisees asked him what had happened. And the boy said, he put mud on my eyes. I washed and now I can see. But the Pharisees did not believe him. They did not believe that he had been blind and could now see. And so they called the boy's parents in and they said, is this your son? You claim that he was once blind, but how can he now see? And the boy's parents said, yes, this is our son. And yes, he was once blind, but we don't know how he can see. The boy's parents were too scared to tell the truth because they were scared they would be thrown out of the church. So they told the Pharisees to ask the boy for himself what had happened. So again, the Pharisees asked the boy what had happened and he told the story again. He said, one thing I know, I once was blind, but now I can see. But the Pharisees were so angry at this that they took the boy and they threw him out of the church. And Jesus then went and he found the boy and he said to him, do you believe in the son of man. And the boy said, Lord, I believe. And he fell to his knees and he worshiped Jesus because Jesus had changed his heart so that he could see that Jesus was the son of God. 
And Jesus said to him, I came into the world to make the blind see and to show those who think they can see how blind they are. Jesus performed this miracle to show us that only he can make people see him as their Lord and Saviour. Jesus opened the blind man's eyes so that he could see. But more importantly, he opened the blind man's eyes so that he could see that Jesus was the Son of God. But not everyone will accept Jesus as the Son of God, even though they have the same evidence as those who do accept Jesus. In our story today, we heard three very different responses to the miracle Jesus performed. The Pharisees refused to believe him. The boy's parents, they believed, but they were too scared to tell other people. But the boy, he believed and he worshipped Jesus as the son of God and he told other people about him. Now, over the past few weeks, we have been looking at the different miracles that Jesus performed. Jesus performed these miracles to help us know who he is and to help us decide how we want to respond to him. So the question I want to end with today is how will you respond to Jesus and the miracles he performed? And if you trust Jesus like the blind man did, we need to respond like the blind man. We need to worship Jesus and tell other people about Jesus. So why don't we pray and ask God to help us do that? Dear God, thank you that Jesus can open our eyes to see who he really is. And we pray for those who do not yet see this truth. Please bring them to know Jesus. Amen. So we've now just got one last thing to do together and that's our memory verse. So let's see if we can remember it together. So it goes, these things are written so that you might believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God. And we've now just got a little bit more to add to that. And it goes, and that by believing, you might have life in his name. And the actions for that go like this. And that by believing, you may have life in his name. So do you think we can put all of that together and give it a go, yeah? So it goes, these things are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God and that by believing, you might have life in his name. Well, well done, guys. And maybe next time we see each other, we'll see if we can both remember the memory verse. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and it was nice to see you. Bye.